Hi, we're Shahad, Tim, and Ruby. We're a Muslim American family on a journey around the world to immerse ourselves in new experiences and to ultimately find the place where we will be calling home. Will it be the middle of the jungle or a metropolitan city or back home in Michigan? Subscribe to join our adventure and follow along. Good morning, everybody. Today is a beautiful day here in Turkey. It is 59 degrees, which is so exciting because we don't need to wear our coats. It's that nice. It feels like a beautiful spring day. And so we're on our way right now to the Grand Bazaar, which is a really, really large market here in Turkey. So the Grand Bazaar is uh, considered the biggest indoor shopping mall in the world. It was uh, built in 1461. And it's 61 um, streets that are covered by like uh, like sheets or tarps and all that. And there's about 4,000 shops. Yeah, so it is very grand. You guys, so we made it all the way to the Grand Bazaar. And unfortunately, it's closed. Because it is Sunday and they close the Grand Bazaar on Sunday. But Google doesn't say that it's closed on Sunday. So just a heads up, the Grand Bazaar is closed on Sundays. It just doesn't reflect that on Google. Um, but yeah, so right now we're just going to go find somewhere to get some food and eat and enjoy this beautiful day. We're walking to a restaurant we found on the Google Maps and there appears to be a, a reason um, that all these shops are closed. We're just not sure of what it is, but it looks like a uh, it looks like an abandoned city, as you can see behind me. Or maybe we're just on a a TV show about the zombie apocalypse that we don't know about. But I'm pretty confident in my skills, so we'll be fine. I don't know about hers. I'll try my best. guys so we just ate at a restaurant called the hidden garden and it was um, amazing I had the uh, chicken shish kebab what'd you have some salmon she had some salmon and then Ruby had a shrimp um, casserole which was extremely tasty um, now we're just walking through I don't, know, I don't know what the name of the city is. We're walking over by the Blue Mosque. Um, we just saw this huge obelisk. You can see it behind us. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, now we're going to go look for a park. And we'll show you guys that. It's a big Hello guys. So we came to um, this park called Gulhane. Gulhane. Park. That was perfect. Cool, honey. It kind of, it kind of reminds me of uh, like a Central Park yeah, and like, like New York. Turkey's version of Central Park. Yeah, yeah. It's really beautiful. They have they have a bunch of like trees and bushes. There's like a water like a water uh, thing over there. It's probably like a fountain in the summer. Yeah. And there's just birds chirping all around. It's a beautiful place for a walk. They've got like paved floors. And there's a little playground area for the kids. And I, I didn't know there was a playground. Mm hmm. There's a playground in the distance. Yep. Ruby's playground nose was <laughs> sniffing away. Yeah. It's really relaxed here. It's like quiet. People probably come here to read books. And then there's also like these castle like structures all around. There's just beautiful sights to see. 
and right now it's the middle of winter so all the leaves have fallen and things are like kind of dry but I bet it would be beautiful and very like floral and flourished in the springtime. Yeah, it's, for sure. I think the Gulhan Park means Rose House in Persian. Persian. Yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's a beautiful place if you want to just come and relax and get away from the city. Yeah. Or just to take your kid to run around and get their energy to out. Wear them out, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> My plan is working. We're just gonna have Ruby play here at the playground and uh, we'll pick you guys up after. So we just made it back to our Airbnb. We had a really fun time at the park. And now we're just gonna relax and probably just watch a movie or something. And then we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. We just got done eating breakfast. Uh, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go back home, um, grab a few things, and then we're gonna head to the Grand Bazaar, which is the world's, supposedly the world's largest indoor market. It was a place where they put uh, over 4,000 markets in one place to keep them safe so they didn't have to worry about uh, thieves or someone trying to burn down someone's competition. So we're going to go check that out. Apparently it's one of the most traveled to markets in the world. They say it's an estimated of 91 million people that come visit this market every single year, which is just crazy, crazy, crazy amount of people. Hopefully not today, all those people yeah. are there. <laughs> Hopefully all those people aren't there today. <laughs> So in the 17th century, the Grand Bazaar was actually the center of trade for three continents. The, it was first the Ottoman Empire and then they extended their trade to three continents and people would come here to get anything and everything because it had everything they wanted and needed and it was just, just this massive market where you can do your, your trade business. So cool. So cool. An interesting fact is when they first opened the bazaar, it didn't have as many jewelry shops here, and now it's filled with jewelry spots. Because 
beautiful girl like you, keep the nazar. Inshallah. And this is other is good luck. Make a choice, please. Which one you like? Chose the you evil like eye one. <laughs> you keep all the the bad wishes away jealousy. from you. The jealousy, yeah. Which one you like? Oh, cute. And that you one like is. That one? Yeah. Let me hang it. Keep it good luck. Of your life, your mouth will be the nice future, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. Super. Oh, what do you say for me? You're welcome, gentlemen. Check it out. Hi everyone, so Hello. <laughs> we finished up with the Grand Bazaar and we just walked all the way to the, the Galata Bridge. We're on our way to the Galata Tower now, which is really, really... Oh. <laughs> the Galata Tower is a very cool historic place here too in Turkey. It's actually a sightseeing place now, um, but it used to be a prison, so that's pretty interesting. So we just got some tree corn. You're a banner. I'm integrated. How's it taste, Ruby? So right now we're just waiting in line to get our ticket to go up and there seems to be a good line over there for getting in after you get your ticket so plan ahead and give yourself some time especially if you want to catch the sunset um, give yourself a little bit of time before the actual sunset so you can make it up there in time but yeah sure it's gonna look good either way though. right I'm sure it'll, yeah it'll, it'll it'll definitely still look great um, yeah. we'll see you guys up there yeah we'll see you guys up there They have elevators here, thankfully, and I think we just have a little bit of a walk. Do you know how many more floors we have? So we just have to walk up two more floors, and then we can go out to the balcony. So cool. So they've got this like replica of the whole city over here. That's the Look at the boats over here. Nothing's in English. And look at this view from over here. Isn't this amazing? We're not even now on the balcony yet. Oh my god, you guys, look at this view. How amazing. Look, Ruby. You see? Ruby's a little nervous. <laughs> It's just so amazing. You can see the whole city from here. Go ahead, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, you guys, look at that view. Look at the sun. Oh my gosh, and it's so windy because of the water. Wow. That's amazing. Oh. Isn't that long? We came on a Monday, so it's a little weird 
but there was kind of a long uh, line. It wasn't too bad yeah, though. Bad. But Ruby, little Miss Ruby, was a little bit nervous about it. And normally she's really good with heights and everything, but this time, I don't know, she was a little nervous. And... What? Oh yeah, go ahead. And I found a friend. Yeah. Oh. She found somebody that was really sweet to her, and what did he show you? He showed me tricks. Yeah, <laughs> magic tricks. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're just gonna go find somewhere to eat because we're really hungry and we've been walking all day and yes. we need some more energy. Yes, we do. Yeah, but it was a really cool view. I definitely recommend if you guys come to this tower, try to time it out so you come around sunset because the view is just amazing during sunset time. Yes, yeah. perfect. Yeah. It was only 100 lira a person too. Yeah, 100 lira is about $8.50, right? Yeah, right now. So yeah, right now it's like $8.50 per person, and the kids were free too. Yep. And yeah, it's about 171 feet at the top of the, t uh, the tower where people can go. So it's pretty high up and it's cool. You don't have, there's an elevator so you don't have to walk and that makes things easier. You just do have to walk coming down. Uh, we started out our day with some breakfast at my favorite breakfast place. Breakfast? <laughs> breakfast place. Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast place. And then we came back home for a little bit and grabbed the backpack and then we set out to um, go to the Grand Bazaar. Uh, we took the tram all the way there. It only took about 20 minutes with the tram. It was about a 45 minute walk so you know we took the lazy way out. But it's extremely cheap to use the tram so it was fine. So we went inside the Grand Bazaar. It's a, it's a huge indoor mall. It was built a long, long time ago, the 14, I think 1461 it was built. It's got about 4,000 shops inside of it, so we ventured around a, a decent amount, I would say. Uh, we almost snuck out of there without buying some things, but someone had to buy something. It was a prayer rug. It was a really, really nice rug. And no, it was really nice. Yeah, yeah it was but like... Not that the guy was super nice, too. Yeah, he even gave Ruby a little um, a good luck charm that he said would give her good luck. <laughs> yeah. Right there. And then uh, we walked around a little bit more just to see what they had, and then we... Yeah, we got lost. Yeah, we got lost a little bit. Yeah. We left the Grand Bazaar and we started our started our way towards the Galata Tower. We tried to make it there before um, the sun went down, and I think we got a, we got there at a pretty good time. Yeah, when we got to the Galata Tower, there was a little bit of a line, but it went by pretty fast, and it, we were a little bit early for sunset, so it was fine. Just if you were to want to go during sunset, but plan ahead, don't go directly like at sunset because there's going to be a little bit of a wait. But once we got up there, it was really cool. Um, they had like a balcony going around so you could actually go outside on the tower. And it just was a really cool place. It looked like um, a castle on the outside. And it actually has been so many different things over the years. Like it's been a prison and now it's just a, a tourist attraction that people can... Observation came, deck. Yeah, like an observation deck that you can go to. Um, so you go up the elevator and then you have to walk back down. Um, and it wasn't bad at all. I think we could have easily walked up. It makes yeah. it kind of seems like it would be a long thing, but it's yeah. not. But yeah, they, so we did need to have our COVID vaccine for that. So just a heads up, if you ever want to come in there, go there during this time, um, you would need your to show proof of vaccine. And then after that, we went to a, a little cafe right next to the Galactic Tower and had dinner, and we made it back here. Yeah. It was the best way to get it back here. Did you have a good day today? Yeah! Yes, how are you loving Turkey so far? So much! So much, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So yeah, now we're just gonna relax and get ready for bed for yeah. Ruby. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye! Bye.